The Boy in the Striped Pajamas Holocaust Project, Task 3, Choice. This is Bruno. He's the main character in the book and the movie. This is his family. This is Bruno's father. Bruno doesn't know much about his father's job, but he knows he's a soldier. Him and his family had to move to a place that he calls out with, but turns out to be ash with. Bruno wants to be an explorer. As he looks around his new house, he sees things he shouldn't have. When Bruno looks outside his bedroom window, he sees a fence in the distance. He goes exploring to go see it. When Bruno ventures closer to the fence, he sees people in striped pajamas. He thinks they're farmers. He thought that farmers in striped pajamas was kind of silly. When Bruno gets as close as he can to the fence, he sees a little boy sitting cross-legged on the ground. Bruno decides that he will go and talk to the little boy. He found out that his name is Shmoo and they share the same birthday. Bruno decided that he would come back every day and talk to Shmoo. They are now best friends. After Bruno visiting for a while, he asks Shmoo to play on the other side of the fence, but Shmoo declines. He asks why and, and Shmoo says he's a Jew, and Bruno immediately walks away and says he'll be back tomorrow. When Bruno gets home, he talks to his big sister Greta about the Jews and why they have to hate them. When Bruno's at school, he asks his teacher, Herlet, if there's such thing as a nice Jew. Herlet replies with, I think, Bruno, if you ever found a nice Jew, you'd be the best explorer in the world. One day, Bruno was bored, and he decided he wanted to make a tire swing for the big tree in his front yard. He asked Lieutenant Kotler, who Bruno disliked, to find a tire for him. Lieutenant Kotler yelled at this, this old man named Pablo to go get a tire for Bruno. As Bruno's swinging on his new tire swing, he starts to stand up and he falls down. Pablo goes and sees that he falls down and goes to help Bruno. As Pablo's helping Bruno, Bruno asks if he needs to see a doctor. Pablo says no, and Bruno said, but you're not a doctor. Pablo replies with, I was before I came here. When Bruno's grandpa came to eat dinner at their house, Pablo accidentally spilled the drink on the table. Lieutenant Kotler got really angry and took Pablo into the next room. Bruno hasn't seen Pablo ever since. One day, Bruno saw Shmoo in Bruno's house, cleaning glasses. Bruno offered Shmoo some food and he took it. Lieutenant Kotler came in and saw Shmoo eating some of the food. He got really angry and asked Bruno if he knew the boy. Bruno lied about being Shmoo's friend. After being at Auschwitz for a year, Bruno's mother wanted to move back to Berlin. Bruno thought he would go and see Shmoo for one of the last times. Bruno said that he was pretty upset that after a year they haven't played together. Shmoo suggested that he would come over, and he did. Bruno said he wouldn't fit in, but then Shmoo said he had, they had so many other pajamas like this, on his side. They went together, and they walked around. They hit a whistle, and they started walking. It started raining. They got pushed into a crowd. Bruno thought he was going undercover to get away from the rain. Bruno and Shmoo went into this place that had so many people in it, they didn't know where they were. They were holding hands because they were scared. Then, it went dark. His mother, father, and sister frantically searched for him, but they were too late. This video was made by Peyton Goodrow. This video was highlighting some of the important parts of the book and movie of The Boy in the Striped Pajamas. Thank you for watching.